What's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jimbo, your host. You can of course follow me on social media across all the platforms there. Today we're talking about two products and a segment that I really, really like and that is the wax as you dry segment. So we have two brands that are always on most shelves um, that I wanted to talk about and then one of these products actually has a very interesting characteristic about it that I think is extremely important to those of you that cannot or do not have access to spot-free water or deionized water. One of these two products you're definitely going to want to buy for, it's actually an on-label use, uh, but I'm calling it kind of an off-label use because it's not really the purpose of it, but it's a hidden benefit that I found while doing the torture test. So what products am I talking about? Well, the first one up is this product right here. This is the Eagle one wax as you dry and this product depending upon where you're looking is going to set you back about eight or nine dollars uh, it's kind of all over the place on Amazon Walmart local auto parts store now Eagle one did us a ginormous disservice in this rebrand or this label uh, label I'm calling it label confusion because they redid the bottles and labels but now all the products look exactly the same so uh, this is the wax as you dry which will be a little bit easier to find than their iron remover which I think their iron remover does extremely well especially for the price point uh, but it does look just like this label bottle everything uh, anyway regardless of that uh, it's a wax as you dry so we're gonna apply that onto the left side of the panel uh, and then on the right side of the panel we have turtle wax this is their wax and dry or wax as you dry it's actually called wax and dry uh, this product boasts that it is the number one selling wax and I would challenge them and say is it better than ice spray wax or ice seal and shine anyway the one part of the label in this bottle right here, they're both about the same size, and this bottle comes in a two pack on Amazon for about 13 bucks. So you're looking about, uh, it comes with the towel as well. So maybe 650, so a little bit cheaper than the Eagle one, but really not big enough of a spread to really worry about it. The one thing, I initially picked these up because they, you can wash or dry wax as you dry and that's why I picked them up initially but really caught my attention and there's one thing that is on the turtle wax label that isn't on the Eagle One label is this part right here where it says it prevents see if my camera will focus prevents water spots right prevents water spots and I thought okay well yeah of course like you lay down a wax maybe this is a sheeter more than a beater so of course it's gonna prevent water spots but what I found out with this video and spoiler alert and you may want to flip ahead is that this product is actually ideal if you don't have access to spot free water let's get into the test let's get into the torch test right now because you will see how I would use this product out in the wild to help prevent water spots especially if you're dealing with really really hard water so with that let's get into the test right now well would you look at that look who got themselves a new nice black hood your boy so what now haters what are you gonna say I know you're gonna find something and if it's that I'm working in direct Sun that's because the turtle wax says that it prevents water spots so I'm gonna do the turtle wax on the right side and then the uh, eagle one on the left side so let's wet it and this so this panel has been prepped and uh, there's nothing on it clayed strip washed nothing so in the Sun how you doing so let's see, you can see what it's like there. And these are kind of my favorite. Um, you can see how fast it's sheeting in the sun. So we're gonna have to work fast here. So spray, so I'm gonna do two applications. I'm gonna do a spray, that's the turtle wax side, just because it says that it prevents water spotting. And so what I want to see is, does it actually prevent water spotting? Now the Eagle One doesn't have those claims. Um, and it just says one or two sprays per panel. So I want to see if there's a different reaction. And see how it's a little different right off the bat? That the, the turtle wax side kind of started to bead the water. And then the 
Eagle One isn't. So let me, I'm gonna dry it. And I'm a huge fan of wax as you dry products. I think, I don't think that you need to have a dedicated uh, product to wax as you dry. I think you could do it with most spray waxes anyway. But since these are two on the market, I wanted to try them out. And really Eagle One, uh, such a fan of their iron remover that um, I decided I wanted to really try out their wax as you dry. Total disservice, I think I mentioned it in the intro, but really did bad with the, the labeling, just the label confusion of all the labels looking the same. Since that one's kind of, this is the one thing when, when it's wet, you're gonna want two towels. So, and as we could see, the turtle wax side is still doing really well. Um, not streaking, not, it is preventing the water spots. It's actually has slowed down the drying, uh, the drying of the, uh, it looks like you will eventually get to see some spots, but let's wipe it. Um, and it says it's the number one selling wax on the label. So, prevents water spots. I don't know if that meant while, you know, while the water's on the car, like, which would be cool, right? Is this a product? Oh, so I'm glad I'm using hard water, kind of thinking about this as I go, but is this a product? Regardless of the wax and regardless of how durable these are, is this turtle wax spray as you dry a good way to? prevent water spots if you're dealing with really hard water. I mean, you saw there, and I will say the turtle wax is a little bit easier to work with. Uh, not getting as much streaking. You can see the workability is not as difficult as it was on that Eagle One product. And so as we kind of get into the durability test in instantly, that's very fascinating to me that the turtle wax wash or wax and dry spray wax may be its best feature, may be, and I don't know, that it prevents water spots. So it might be a good product to spray on your car to buy you some time. It may not prevent, um, see if we have any difference in the water behavior. Man, this hood is so big. So much surface area on this hood. To be fair, about the same. Maybe the turtle wax has a little bit more water beating. Not by much, they're both kind of sheeters. Let's try it again. Yeah. That sheets pretty quickly too. About, I would call it about the same. They're both gonna be in that sheeting category a little bit better than water beating, but I'm gonna do this test real quick. So we're gonna do it, because I, I just thought of this as we did it and I wanna do it. So let's spray, I'm gonna saturate the turtle wax side because I wanna see if this is a viable option to prevent water spots. So let's do that, I'm gonna re-wet the Eagle One side. Am I, have I been calling it something else? Well, Eagle One. So I'm gonna wet the Eagle One side too. And what I, sorry about that. And what I wanna see, you can see, oh man, this is the best. And we're not picking sides per se right now, we're just looking at differences. So I think this may be the most interesting aspect of both these, and I really hope the camera is picking those the subtle differences up. On the turtle wax side, we have it kind of almost keeping more water on the panel, but the weird part to me is that it's not drying out. Whereas the Eagle One side, it looks like it's drying out. It's actually not really drying out, but you see the differences? So this is what I just thought of. Regardless of how durable these products are, is the turtle wax going to be a good option? And this is why I don't always use a pressure washer. I wanna use tools that are the most readily available to people. And that's turtle wax, wa what, what is it called? Wax and dry. So the turtle wax wax and dry may be a really, really good option because it's not making the water dry out on the surface. And I really want to see, this is why I did it in direct sun too. I really want to see if you could prevent water spots on the paint 
by doing this. Obviously, if it's really hot out, and today we're dealing with about a 75, 80 degree day, um, black hood, of course, and you could just see the dramatic differences. I love this, and it doesn't necessarily make one product better or one product worse. It just kind of is what it is. Um, and I, my feeling is that with the Eagle One, you're kind of going to have a mess on your hands. But let's see, I have two towels for the Eagle One. The Turtle Wax only took one towel, but look at that as it starts to dry. That Turtle Wax is going to be an amazing option. Um, so I, I'll be honest, I really wasn't that excited about doing a video on these two products and to be even more honest kind of burn out on uh, just testing stuff on a panel really want to switch it up to some interior products the Eagle one doing really well on that wipe off even when it dries uh, even when it dries a little it's not an issue at all adds a lot a lot of slickness you're gonna want two towels but with that said and a burnout from the comments to be honest with that said this energizes me when I can find a product this cool that kind of does, I was going to say off label. It's definitely on label. It's definitely on the front of the label. But guys, this is, this is huge. This is amazing for, I mean, look how much give, how much we're at the five minute mark and now we are at eight minutes. So uh, three minutes, so it's obviously gonna take longer than that to dry a car, especially depending upon how big your car is. But we're not even close to drying out here. And you saw that, not even close to drying out. So this, regardless of the wax or the wax component to it, is an extremely good option just to buy you some time to not get water spots on your car. And as you can see, as my towel kind of gets more absorbed, uh, you're gonna need to switch to a second, a second towel. So with that, let's jump right into the uh, durability test of things here. And of course, first, I don't know, is this a sin? Eagle one on Eagle one. Let's try it. I'm kind of running out here too. So the wind is going to the right. So I'm going to spray both sides. And let's see. And it, this, these wax as you dry is kind of fall into the same category for me um, as like quick detail sprays, right? Where you, you, I really don't expect much out of it. I really don't have high expectations. And like I said, I mean, full transparency, I wasn't that excited to do this video. I just wasn't. But then when I see the turtle wax do something super cool like that, and really the Ego One as well, just holding up really well and drying out in the sun, um, or maybe not holding up really well, but just uh, being good in the sun is a real, real, real advantage. So let me get my drying towel here. Um, so that's also encouraging as well when I don't want to do a video and then kind of force myself to do it. And, it, and I find out something really cool. That's, that's pretty fun. And we have a winner. So let's, I ended with the Eagle One. This is after the iron remover only. Again, I don't really hold much value on these products for something like durability, of course. Uh, but now that we have a flat hood panel and I could break it down the middle, we really get some cool results like we're seeing right there. So I ended it on the Eagle One side. Let me end it on the Turtle Wax side just to be fair. And you know what I need to do is wipe it with my wet towel to make sure there's no residue. But we are seeing the turtle wax sheeting at a faster rate again. Man, talk about one of the most, you know, uh, crapped on car care products, you know, maybe ever. The car wax brand, I guess, in turtle wax. But I, I will say I've been fairly motivated to try more of their products only because I've been so impressed with the products that I've tried, including these. And this is not to blow wind up Turtle Wax's skirt. This is just me buying products and trying them out. You know what I mean? So let's see here. So 
let's call you know call it for what it is both are pretty flat both took a beating from an iron remover um, not that impressive from the durability standpoint if I do have to give it to one of the sides it will be turtle wax side obviously it's it's sheeting water much faster I think it's biggest uh, benefit really is that you can just use it to buy time with water spots but let me get the blower going and you could see how much less water is on the panel and to go back to and kind of rehash the uh, car pro eraser video when people were saying oh no bare clear coat sheets that fast bare clear coat does not sheet that fast and when it's slow and bare it barely sheets off the surface so let's get this water off And you can see how the water is just sticking to the surface. Even the turtle wax side, it's not, it's getting off, but it's starting to stick a little bit. Not nearly as bad, but, but water sticking is another indication that, you know, we got something on there or we don't have anything on there. Just kind of absorbing into the pores of the paint. So I would say that's another indication where turtle wax will take this one by a little bit. Uh, again, not much. But considering I need to strip the panel, we might as well go to the most aggressive thing. Let's go to purple power. Let me hit the turtle wax. I'm working in direct sun. I'm having to do one side at a time, I guess, so it doesn't dry out. Eh, let's see if it dries out and see what happens. This is why I do these on panels, not on cars, because then on panels, not only is it a little bit more controlled and I could do these at any time of the day, but also I could spray stuff and let it sit and dwell and well, I don't worry about jacking up someone's car, right? Spray something on the hood of your car, uh, and then it dries, and, or a customer's car, and has a weird reaction that you're not sure of. I don't know, so I could be a little bit more loose and carefree. Uh, but again, I kept it with Toyota. I mean, come on, that door did me well. And the door, uh, the door will retire. I'm thinking about uh, holding a retirement party for the door. It did very well. I, th I was thinking about holding a barbecue for it. Uh, did very well and has retired and is currently under a 12 hour curing process for a spray coating, another one that I'm trying. This one's really cool. Uh, so that's, the door will retire from YouTube. Thank you, door. And we'll stick with internal testing for me. Let's look at all that residue. Jeez. And this time I didn't put the tape line down. And I don't know when this video is coming out, but uh, again, I've been hitting at turtle wax and stuff, and it looks like I'm gonna go meet with the meet with the guy who invented the ice spray wax. So that's that's exciting. I'm hoping to get that in podcast form. I think that killed both of them. Let's let's wipe the residue. But I think we killed both of them and this panel is back to flat, which would be awesome. But man, I'm super duper stoked that for one, there's two really viable, inexpensive options if you're looking for the wax as you dry, just to get some quick water beads. Two, that I found that little hack with the turtle wax one that it actually does prevent water spots. So super pumped on that. Let's see if we're totally flat here. Like I think we are. And that's what a flat panel looks like, boys and girls. Even in the sun, even all that. And that's how I know the CarPro eraser didn't work. This is what a flat panel looks like in warm sun and all that. That is a flat panel right there. All right, thanks for checking out this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think? Were you impressed by either one of these? I thought the coolest feature of the wax and dry was the turtle wax that it wouldn't prevent water spots and that you could use it as a, I guess a drying aid per se, that'll really help you, especially those of you that deal with really warm climates. Um, and so that, I think that is the most fascinating uh, takeaway from this video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you will choose to leave a comment below your thoughts, feelings, emotions related to this video or really anything in life, I guess, which is what usually happens anyway. Most people don't watch the whole video before they comment. On your way down, I hope you hit that big red subscribe button. 
and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. Catch you guys on the next one. See ya.